So as you accumulate different meditation tools, um, you'll be able to apply those to what I'm going to suggest. So working on the mind-body connection to create alignment that goes from the, our deep internal self out into the external world, you're looking for a coherence between physical sensations, emotions, and thoughts. So one thing that I took as a belief system to underline my work, which really did help me, was that for every physical sensation, there is a corresponding thought. And for every thought, there is a corresponding physical sensation. I may not be able to feel what the physical sensation is at first, or I might not know what the thought is at first, but if I feel one end, then there is the other end, and I, my job is to look for what that other end might be and see if I can sense it. So what this allowed me to do was to keep building this channel, a mind-body connection channel, where I looked for what was happening at the same time and in the same place, uh, in the same space, so that I could continue to find a connection within myself. And in the process of connecting physical sensations to thoughts, my emotions started to become more solid, more connected, and more clear about what they were because I had a better sense of myself in the present moment. Um, when I say sense of myself, that means like I had a sense of myself as a whole, complete person and not fragmented or disconnected or disassociated or, or out of touch. So this idea of like developing the container that you're able to sense your whole self is a huge healing step um, for psychosis and for other mental illness as well. Being able to um, be there for yourself, both in your physical sensations and for your thoughts. Um, and then when you bring emotions in, uh, you're able to connect to those different feelings without judgment um, and learn how to be with those feelings no matter what they are. And so, so that also is like, means you have to create a lot of acceptance um, around any emotion that may come up um, and be okay with any emotion that may come up because you're going to have a thought, you're going to have a feeling in your body, and then there's going to be some kind of emotion, some kind of tone or mood or color, feeling to your energy. And, and that's just a natural thing. That's just always going to be there. And you don't have a lot of control over what that is in the moment. That is just sort of a byproduct of being a person in a particular space and time. What changes the way that we use our emotions over time or how we, what emotions we feel is when our thoughts change, when we change how we perceive the world. Right? So you're perceiving the world or you're thinking about some event in the past and you have certain opinions that are your, you know, happen. Then you're going to have um, natural emotions that are going to come of those opinions. Your emotions will change when your thought process changes, when you have a different outlook or a different perspective on something that happened or something that's happening. Then your emotions will be in a different place because you're in a different place with how you're perceiving everything. Um, but your emotions are not wrong, you know, they just, they connect how they connect. And the stronger the mind-body connection, and the more room you leave for there to be energy flowing between the two and energy flowing around you, the more clear you will understand what your emotions are, and the more information you'll be able to get from your emotions.